Hello and welcome to Starship Subas HQ. Today we're going to look at William Gibson's new novel, The Peripheral, an outstanding bit of science fiction literature. Yes, so I've just finished, I finished the actual, the audio book of William Gibson's The Peripheral. And if anyone hasn't read it, I'm not going to give any spoilers away here, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. But it's well worth, well worth time and investment to delve into that and enjoy it. Because this is like science fiction. It's like Gibson's comeback to the fold and just delivered one outstanding bit of science fiction, you know, fiction. Fantastic. Why is it personally for me, for me good? Do you know what I mean? Well, again, it's, I think Gibson's got this gift of just being able to see just not that far into the future, you know, and, you know, well into the future as well, but that gift of just being able to see what's beyond our kind of horizons or what possibly could be, do you know, with technology. This story's got two narratives and, you know, one is a little future, you know, not too far distant from ourselves, you know what I mean? It's got drones, you know, drones are everyday things there. It's got similar to Google Glass there that they're wearing all this. You know, there's the kind of haptic wars, which is a, a, a great name, you know, for kind of like the wars nowadays. And it's, it's just a glimpse at what possibly could be. Then what Gibson does great is kind of another narrative story is going on at the same time, 70 years in advance of them as well. And this is where kind of Gibson's kind of creativity just explodes, to be quite honest. And you have everything in there. This is like a future that is just kind of taking it to the kind of, not say extremes, but just the, the possibilities of what could come. Do you know what I mean? And it is just a fantastic novel, you know. And yeah, it's got all those kind of exciting parts in it. But, you know, and I, I go on about this as well, you know, but characters, do you know what I mean? The, and that's, I think, a crucial thing. It's easy to kind of just bring all this technology in and have no, no kind of solid foundation. With this, this novel, Gibson's truly got some great characters in there, in the kind of the early timeline and in this kind of far future timeline as well. And there's little subtle things as well that kind of just make you, you know, it's, it's almost like, oh, is this what our future is going to be like? You know, in the kind of story that have where the world kind of, you know, eventually you, this world we live in now, you know, kind of crashes and burns in a kind of, they call it the jackpot. And it's just mentioned a few times, but that's, a, I think, a subtle little things, you know, like Gibson's putting into the kind of story just to kind of make you think and make you wonder, do you know, what, what is this jackpot? And it isn't any one thing, kind of, the fall of kind of humanity, do you know what I mean? It's just like subtle little things just, you know, escalating and there's another thing. And... It makes you think this story, you know, it, just a brilliant science fiction novel. You know, I've, you go back and you kind of read, you know, Gibson's early stuff and just loved it, you know what I mean? I never really, or I didn't read any of his kind of contemporary novels. And, and I've seen this one was out again. And now I listened to the, the, the kind of audio version of it. And Lorelei King just does a fantastic job, you know. Like I say, there is a whole wealth of kind of characters you know, timelines going on there, everything. And Lorelei King, what a great narration that is. Now, if I was going to pick any, you know, because no one, you know, there's not that many novels, novels where they're kind of the, just pure brilliance. With Gibson, you know, you start off this story and it just, he's throwing you with everything, you know what I mean? And there's so, like you say, there's so many characters at the beginning. It just, you, you're going back. And I actually listened to about, say, 20, 30 minutes of the story and thought, um, and I think that's quite, a, you know, often with kind of narrations, you know, you kind of, where, 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 what? So I just went back and listened again. And then you kind of, I got into it. It's just like going back in the pages and thinking, all oh, right, oh, that's him, that's, that's her. Uh, like I say, you, you're kind of thrown in with Gibson's story and you're kind of left floundering, like, what's going on? And you've got to make up your own, you know, where, where the hell am I going with this? But once you get into it, and once you get past that initial kind of inertion of kind of all these characters and everything's going on and these two storylines, you know, one in the past or one in the future and, the, you know, they connect as well, then you gallop away, you know what I mean? Then you can't actually get enough of the story. And, you know, it, that is, like you say, 
if there was going to be one thing, it's just at the beginning, you, you left. You kind of, that's it, get on with it, almost feeling. And you've just got to kind of work your way through that. But just try and get into that story, work your way through it. And then, like you say, this kind of, this opens up and it's just a fantastic read. It's science fiction that, you know, you kind of want. Do you know what I mean? He's got gadgets in there. He's got... There's, I don't want to kind of like really spoil it, but there's kind of just future things that, you know, yes, he's got this kind of, I don't know if it's like a drug or a little tablet you take, and it just makes you spout gobbledygook, but the person listening to it kind of can understand it and think, oh, all right, right, that's, yeah, that's connected to what I was saying, you know, and I could do with some of that stuff, just to kind of take something and you kind of get out of your depth in a conversation and this kicks in, automatically kicks in, and it'll just spout randomness, but it's all put together in a kind of certain logic and the person listening came to, oh, all right, oh, oh, he does know what he's on about. You know what I mean? So book me in for that. I would love some of that. Then he's got, just, you, you get yourself kind of, I mean, there's kind of, there's a lot of shooting going on. There's kind of, lot, there's a lot of death going on in, in this novel as well. And he's got these kind of gadgets that kind of swell over, you know, if your shoulder's been shot off in the future, they put this kind of pack on and it kind of just blebs up and kind of fixes yourself. You know what I mean? And there's all these kind of little, robot dolls going around and oh it's just fantastic and like I say his future you know the, the kind of the, the future is just outstanding do you know what I mean because he paints such a vivid picture you see it do you know what I mean it kind of all this detail what he's describing Gibson's describing in this book is just stunning and it makes it exciting but it also like I say you know you've got this kind of looming over like a, this jackpot what, what, what on earth is happening do you know what I mean and because of the future, there's, there's, you know, not many there, you know, for kind of not giving too much away. But there's not that many who were there in the future. And it's just great, a great story, you know, like in the, in the future, looking back and talking to people in this time. Just great. A great story. If I was going to give it any recommendation or any stars or any number out of 10, I would say probably eight and a half out of 10. So that's a nice recommendation. If you haven't had it. Get William Gibson's new novel. That will be fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed a little brief little glimpse into the new novel by William Gibson. Do stick around and subscribe. Until next week, just like to say goodbye from me. I hope you enjoyed that show. Please think about subscribing. You will get the shows each and every time I release them. And why not check out the videos? Worst science fiction books I have ever picked. Oh, they're there. Check it out. And while you're on, subscribe to the newsletter. You get Starship Subas Volume 1 free. Fantastic writers in there. Just sign up for the newsletter and you'll get that.